Welcome to another episode of Anything and Everything. I'm your host, Garrett Hazard. Today, we got the dads on. Uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? You know what it is. It's your main <laughs> man, Christian, going on. <laughs> um, I'm Josh Blake. Uh, sadly, we do not have Joe here. Uh, Joe... Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Should be living in our room, but he doesn't. He commutes from Syracuse, like, Tuesday, Thursdays. He should be here, but yeah, he's not. Yes. Sad, sad hours. Sad, sad hours. Sad hours. <laughs> Yeah, and then he also pays for the meal plan, which is also kind of... He, he done messed up. Yeah, Moment of silence, please. Up. But uh, just before we get into everything, I just Thanks, wanted to Gary. say that this podcast is brought to you by the amazing team at Wildcat Media, and Wildcat Media gets all of their state-of-the-art equipment from the student activities fee that all students here at SUNY Poly pay each semester. So thank you to all the SUNY Poly students listening, because without you, none of this or any of the awesome events or anything going on with any of the organizations uh could go on around campus so big shout out to you guys shout out shout out shout out yeah. yeah so let's get right into it uh we didn't have that many responses to the instagram put out today but uh one of the things that my brother put on big shout out to gunner uh he'll come on soon enough he just wanted us to talk about obscure sports quarterly and if anyone understands that reference it is from the movie dodgeball if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> and uh, so my understanding of Obscure Sports Quarterly, I know from the movie, it's, well, dodgeball. And then they also referenced uh, squirrel water skiing. That's another one. Really? Uh, yeah, I think so. And like in the movie? Because I know like in the commercial, uh, when they're like, you know, uh, before the dodgeball tournament actually gets televised, they had like that squirrel running around on the water skis. Like oh, so yeah, okay. that was on the commercial. That's hey, one first of the off, things. he can't run the water had, skis. I'm sorry. Yeah, like ski, water skiing all night. Put that SpongeBob thing on there. <laughs> all, <laughs> no, all night. Uh, so yeah, it had that, and then they had those two people hitting each other with socks. That was another oh, one in the commercial, and then there were a few more, but like you know, Gordon gets that whole magazine from Obscure Sports Quarterly, and he's like, oh. We can raise the money and save the gym by playing dodgeball. And then, yeah, White Goodman comes in. He's like, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Stuff like that. It was good. Oh, Yeah, dodgeball is a great movie. I definitely recommend that if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, yeah, that is a great movie. That's <laughs> Yeah, so I hope, I hope Gunner has been more enlightened on Obscure Sports Quarterly. Uh, big shout out to Brian Enriquez. He asked us to talk about thanksgiving and the blatant disregard of it in favor of christmas and before we talk about <laughs> thanksgiving i want i would like to prompt the question are there any songs about thanksgiving insert to turkey noise <laughs> we need do, I, do i need to say any more that's my that's my <laughs> gobble gobble see i i i just think there's halloween mm -hmm. there's thanksgiving there's christmas yeah let's just not skip over all of them you know we get off of school that's yeah. a plus. We get to eat great food. That's a plus. You get to take a nap. That's a plus. Yeah. The post Thanksgiving dinner. Did, did I say eating? Coma. Did I say sleeping? I said no school. You, you did. It's great. It's great. Time. Well, as soon I as mean, you wake I up know. from the nap after you're done eating your Thanksgiving meal, then it's Christmas time. The minute I see Santa Claus <laughs> on that Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, <laughs> I give you all oh, the so right. This is before dinner. You're saying before dinner because the Macy's Day Parade's at like yes, 10. Yes. Yes. Before dinner. Before dinner. Okay. Like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., whenever he comes on. You know, once that doggy parade comes on, <laughs> we're good. We, you are clear to play all the Christmas trap, all the Mariah Carey. Well, that's what I was gonna talk about. All the about. Michael Bublé's that you want, you can that's, do. It. I was gonna talk like there's no like I'm looking. I promise you, I'm looking. I want to hear a Thanksgiving trap song because right now, <laughs> the Christmas trap music that's on YouTube, all those remixes oh, yes. are those slap. They, they slap, but I think a gobble beat drop oh my God. <laughs> goes even harder. <laughs> I would have to hear that first for me to, you know, judge that against the... It's like the Meow, the, Mi it's like the Meow Mix remix. Have you heard that? The Meow Mix remix? You haven't seen that? That's too you many need to, You need to watch That's it. too many. <laughs> Meow Mix remix. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Oh, speaking about two to five inches, Brendan Martin just walked in the room. <laughs> uh, so, it wasn't me. <laughs> Um, oh, we love Brendan. There's two Brendan Martins in student government. That's uh, good. back to what we were talking. So, yeah, the Christmas Trap remixes, we tested out Chris's car. And oh, Jeff's yeah. car. And Jeff's car. Oh, uh, yeah. Found out that Jeff's bass is a little bit, hits a little bit harder than Chris's. It hits your soul a little bit harder. It does. So, but Jeff also paid a little bit more. A little so, bit more. Yeah, so like, that he, makes he sense. He's got bigger, for... he's got bigger, um... 
He actually Under paid for like the subwoofers. He's yeah. got two 12 inch oh, subwoofers, okay. and then he actually made his own box versus myself. Oh, and he paid for his amplifier versus myself. The amplifier and the two 10 inches that I have were a gift. Oh, I had okay. to just pay for installation. But gotcha. shout out to Jeff. Yeah. He won. <laughs> he He's won the better fair man. and square. But yeah, so we were listening to those uh, Christmas remixes, and the definitely Grinch the, and the Grinch the one. The Grinch one was. I, so if you want, want to go check out these, I put my favorites on the YouTube page. So if you go to anything and everything with Garrett Hazard, you can see I have a playlist of all the Christmas trap remixes that I like. And so some of those were. Uh, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. That one went pretty hard. Heat. Heat. Uh, there was also The Carol of the Bells. That one, that one had a pretty good beat Fire. as well. Uh, there was uh, Up on the Housetop. That, that was, that was, that was swinging good. too. Favorite though, Here Comes Santa Claus. Here Comes Santa Claus. Here Comes Santa Claus. Uh-huh. Here Comes Santa Claus. Hey. <laughs> I, I don't know if that goes crazy. Lyrics, but yeah. It goes crazy. It goes <laughs> it crazy. It does. It does. <laughs> it goes hard. So yeah, definitely if you if you want to go check out those songs and like them yourself so you can use like YouTube music and stuff, definitely go on the YouTube page and check those out. Um we're not going to talk about what Will wanted to talk about. Uh Jeff wanted to talk about, uh, about climate change. It's real. I think it is real. We know and it's that's real. the extent of the politics that we're going to talk about on this <laughs> podcast. So moving on to our next topic, uh, 16 years ago oh, today, yes. to the date, the movie, <clears throat> talking about Christmas, the Prime movie time. Elf came out starring Will Ferrell. And the then Twitter, I think it was uh, like some movie, some movie Twitter page or something released a picture of eight different Will Ferrell movies. <laughs> and they said, hey, Twitter talk about this like what are the best will ferrell movies out there and the eight will ferrell movies that they had in that picture were talladega nights anchorman i'm assuming it's a series because there's anchorman one and two both very good the other guys then elf old school Step Brothers, blades of glory and kicking and screaming now, one movie actually two that another one that josh brought up today that i would like to add to that list so we have an even 10 mm -hmm. is uh, semi pro when uh, Will Ferrell is a <laughs> player owner coach of the Flint Tropics trifecta <laughs> <laughs> power move and then also get hard that Josh recommended also starring Kevin Hart well, shout out Mayo it. well yeah <clears throat> I saw the full thing shout out Mayo it's a good time <laughs> <laughs> I remember bits and pieces of get hard but I remember there's one scene where he had like a knife in his head yeah and he was talking like Crazy talk. I didn't even feel it go in. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know. Would you count The Office? Because uh, he's in The Office. It's not a movie. But that's not a movie. I know it's not a movie, but he's still in The Honestly, Office. Honestly, though, you, you, his time on The Office wasn't eh. But it was, it was good, like good, though. Six episodes? Yeah, it was like six episodes. At the end that, of season that, seven, which evidently is when The Office gets <clears> worse. Really bad. It is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could talk about The Office. That's another Well, we should time. definitely talk about The Office. We could. Rob, just, Robert California really did bring it back up. You mean Ultron? Ultron. He's also in The Blacklist. That is true. That's a good, that's a good, that is a good movie. I wouldn't mind talking about The Office after you list your top five Will Ferrell movies. I, I've only seen mm. four. So then can you name five Will Ferrell movies? I already movies? did it earlier. Do you want yeah. me to you want me go to for again? it? Yeah. So they didn't, they didn't give me five. Top five, top five. I know they didn't hear. Okay, so there's, top five, there's top the five. other guys. <coughs> yeah. Talladega Nights. Mm -hmm. Elf. Mm -hmm. Get Hard. Yeah. The only one I've heard of before today was the other guys. I hadn't heard the other ones that you mentioned. Right, because you haven't watched Step Brothers. I haven't, I haven't watched Step Which Step actually, No, I've watched Step Brothers. No, no, I haven't watched it. Yeah, yeah so I, which I, we're I watching you, tonight. Remember I told you to get two of them mixed up? <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they're um, it's all great movies. Yes. Yeah, all so great movies. What about you, Chris? Uh, I haven't seen Talladega Nights, but I'd have to go with the same top five oh, that... You haven't? We watched that, it like... I thought we watched it like nah, three years ago. No, see, like that part of Will Ferrell, I wasn't really a big fan of. Um, like the before like he... Five pounds, seven ounce, baby <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I guess, like, though that movie or that, like, I don't know if it was a trilogy or if it was, like, just one and two. I can't remember. Anchorman? No, oh, Talladega Anchorman. Nights. I forgot about Anchorman. That's the, Talladega that Nights. I can't remember if it was a one. It was just two, one. one. Yeah, okay. it was just one. So I would have replaced uh, Talladega Nights with Anchorman. Okay. Just the, the both of those movies. They were hilarious. I feel like <laughs> that's just really that's just prime Will Ferrell there. But top He's a great all five actor. is, like, Step I think, Brothers. like, when you talk about, like, improv actors, like, going off of the script and making the movie even funnier than intended to be, mm -hmm. I think he's definitely up there. Even him playing as Alex Trebek on Cel <laughs> Celebrity Jeopardy. Like, <laughs> oh my God. come like, on. He's, he's so well-versed. <laughs> it's like Johnny Depp does a lot of improv. Like, Pirates of the Caribbean, like, 
a bunch of the, like the crazy Caribbean. stuff he did was improv. I run like Johnny Dam- Johnny Damon. Johnny Damon. Johnny Damon. <laughs> right fielder the for flow. the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> also play for the Yankees. Yeah, Johnny Depp when he's running away from we those pirates in Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. or whatever. Oh, that's a, yeah, the, that's a great the tribe or whatever they were. That was funny. Mm-hmm. I would think my jokes. my top five Will Ferrell movies. Oh God, starting at five would probably be. Uh, an underrated movie, I think, Blades of Glory. I think that movie's hilarious. I forget who the other actor is in that. I'm looking at him. I can't think of his name. But that's where Will Ferrell and this other actor, they go head-to-head in uh, competitive figure skating. like in Not like the Olympics, but it's like some <laughs> subsidiary competition thing. Uh, I've, I definitely feel like I've, I've heard that movie or seen so, a movie about it. So after, remember. so they, they, they go head to head, like <clears throat> they split competitions. Like they're both like really good at, like obviously it's fake, but mm-hmm. like they, they're really good at figure Just skating like and like they, they compete in like the men's singles. <laughs> and I, th- like one of, I think Will Ferrell ends up sabotaging the other skater and then both of them can't compete in the men's singles anymore. And they're like, Whoa. like they end up not skating for like three <coughs> years, and then this other duo comes in, and like it's a it's a brother sister duo, but it's like a weird like it's kind of weird, like they weird vibes are going on. Yeah, there. I, I can't remember that movie. for <laughs> some reason. I don't know what it is. But then Will Ferrell and this other guy end up skating two men in like the the pairs skating. It's usually a guy and a girl because mm-hmm. like the guy holds up the girl, twirls around, whatever. And they have Will Ferrell and this other guy skate as two men in the Paris skating, and they compete and they end up winning the what? like the championship. Okay, it's so funny. Oh god! And like they're trying to pull off this move, and their their skating instructor 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 shows them a video of like what what could happen if you mess up. And it's Will Ferrell throwing this other guy in the air, <laughs> him doing him doing a spin, and then him catching him on his feet. Oh, but the nope. the video is I think they do in like Korea or something, and the woman actually chops off the head oh, of the guy. Good. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's, it's an audio medium, so we're not worried about that. Yikes! <laughs> but then they're like, "Well, we got to practice it first. And oh, so God. the other guy is just mangling watermelons the whole time (laughs) (laughs) and so they're like are we really gonna do this and they end up pulling it off for the competition Mm -hmm. and they they win so i would think i mean that's that's number five in my opinion and then number four not on this list but one of my favorite movies Mm semi-pro that player coach owner of the flint tropics also, uh, what's his name? Woody Harrelson is in that. Yep. Oh, I love yeah. Woody Harrelson. Very funny. Uh, I th- yeah, zombie I think that man. movie's just that another movie. man of all trades. <laughs> Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Have to see Zombieland too. Yeah, I need to see the second one. You need to see the first one. I watched the first. You saw the first one. one. We went On the to fire um, Ohio stick. for cross oh. country. Um, uh, no, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. we were good. like, yeah, let's let's use uh, the cab tickets and go to. Never happened. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. Sorry, also, cab. speaking about cab tickets that I didn't use, I didn't go to KO for the second year in a row. KO. <laughs> I signed up for the, you know, the, the haunted house. Oh, the haunted house, yeah. Yeah, so they changed locations this year. It was in Rome. But, like, I got the tickets, and I was trying to figure out with Jake when were we going to go. And Jake and I, oh, we'll go this day. And then, like, we ended up recording and then not going because there was a recruit. And then we were like, oh, we'll go oh. the next week. And then Jake was like, oh, no, it's my birthday, so we're not going to go. And then it was like, oh, we'll go the next week. And then that didn't happen. So now I can't use the ticket. Rest in Yikes. Peace. I should try to sell the ticket. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to try and sell the ticket. Um, number three. I kind of want to move. I kind of want to move everyone up one and put Talladega Nights at five. I, I like I like I like Semi Pro and Blaze of Glory more than Talladega Nights. There are a lot of quotable lines in Talladega. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's true. But I just think I've like, heard enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I would think uh, Anchorman, one and two, at two, and then other guys at one, because other guys is I mean I can relate because Will Ferrell plays an accountant, so I mean I just <laughs> the gotta, reverence I gotta CPA. respect I have to respect the craft. So <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. When he was like, "Where'd you even come from? Uh, some accounting department?" I was in forensic accounting actually. <laughs> 
definitely top three is like interchangeable for Will Ferrell though. Yeah, it's, I think it's so like too. any way you can go. It depends on like your own preference, mm-hmm. but like that's just me. Whatever type of humor you have, you know. Big facts. Did you want to talk about The Office? Oh, I don't care. We can talk about The Office. We can talk about the and office. how bad it went after Steve Carell left. Yeah. Rest in peace. That yeah. Why'd you have to go with Holly Man? There's so there's been so <laughs> many rumors of it coming back too. Yeah. And I really want to see it come back with like, you know, all of the stuff that's happened you know, since yeah, 2007 it's coming seven or whenever the yeah. show oh, yeah, stopped. It's coming, it's coming yeah. off Netflix, so NBC wants it back for their own streaming services. That would be and super lit. You know, NBC <laughs> do your job. <laughs> yeah. Get the best show. <laughs> it's rerun. Like do a, do a good job. Yeah, I feel like the writers would just have a field day. Yeah. Right? Not only, like, the stuff that's, like, going on with, like, the current, like, government situation, mm-hmm. like, the administration that's in there right now, but, like, other, like, like sports scandals and, like, other stuff like that. Like, you just throw in as, like, little, like, that's what she said stuff. Like, oh, he God. says all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would just, I feel like they would have a field day. That'd be perfect. And it would just, it would be so funny. And it would, it would hit so many like it's such a new audience too because there are people that like are going into high school going to college now that are starting to watch it because i know we all started watching Mm -hmm. the office in college so like you're gonna hit a whole new demographic when people are like oh this is new let's all watch this now instead of watching gen z (laughs) (laughs) oh man they need to be uh they need to be taught properly (laughs) they 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 need to know be educated yeah exactly I know there are a lot of people that also watch Friends. I never watched I've never watched Friends it. just because I was because an we don't have person. any. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like this ongoing debate uh, at least with my friends back at home. It's like which show is better, Office or Friends? I'd have to watch Friends. Too. And honestly, to me, I just feel like they're just two generational shows True. that it's really hard to compare with. Because Friends was like in bef- like before The Office came out, right? Yeah, it was like... Like it ended like when The Office was like in its it prime. It ended, yeah. So like when Office was in its prime, it was like Friends was on the okay. decline, yeah. kind of. It was um, like a late 90s, right? Late, li- okay. late 90s, early 2000s, mm-hmm. kind of. And then Office was, you know, 2004, 2011. I could name like... Th- I the only person on the Friends cast that I could name is Jennifer Aniston. I can't think like there are like three other guys and like I can see their faces but like mm-hmm. not the names. Yeah, like, I, the Office. Yeah. I could literally name every single person in the Office. <laughs> <laughs> Parks and Rec's another. That one too. Gunner it's like, really likes that. It show. has its moments, but I think it tries too hard, and that makes it. Not oh funny. yeah, I think it has the same like goals as yeah. the Office. Like you have the head person, which is, it plays uh, Amy. Um, what's her name? Amy Poehler. Um, her like actual name actual names yeah. oh i don't know it's some something nope um i forgot her first name yeah but like she tries to be michael scott it doesn't work yeah it doesn't work and then um and then I feel like like that, that might be nbc's yes. version of the rerun for office maybe they try but to I, do parks and rec yeah like i don't know if parks and rec office. was the like the the movie or i mean the show that is like supposed to be the second show to the office yeah. like that's how i see it as camera stop making so much noise sorry <laughs> And Ron Swanson, Andy Dwyer, which is uh, Chris Pratt. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Star Lord. What was that? Star- I think. Well, there was one outtake to uh, to Parks and Rec that I think probably beats any Office outtake. When they were talking about uh, the like, they had that press conference and they were talking about Kim Kardashian. Oh, sex that's tape. hysterical. And then they were like, uh, <laughs> they said something like, "Did she make a comeback?" And then Chris was like. I think she had come on her back in the video. And then everyone was just like, everyone <laughs> lost that, it. No, I, have, I haven't seen one second everyone of Parks and Rec. Lost no, it's like it. a blooper. It oh, was, really? It was scripted. Yeah, like, yeah, Chris like, Pratt, you can go like, on YouTube oh and watch gosh. that video. It was, it was so funny. Oh. And then everyone, <laughs> everyone was dying. <laughs> yeah, that, that outtake probably beats anything from... Because while well, you probably didn't have a lot of outtakes from The Office. Like, there are Office bloopers and stuff. Oh, those are hysterical. Those are funny, but I don't know. that. Have you guys seen those, like, on YouTube? Like, the office bloopers? Uh, yeah, yeah, they have, like, yeah. season, like, like when they're one, doing two, like three. The, when they're doing, like, the, the Dwight has to do a practice call because he's getting, he got bad reviews. He's like, Paul Licker, our prices have never been lower. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't hear you. The bloopers on that is hysterical. Oh, oh man. God. I'll have to watch that because I don't think I've watched that one. I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face though. <laughs> most of either. those scenes. It's like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. I, like, every time just Jim looks at the camera, I just start <laughs> dying. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. Oh, man. It's good. It's a good time. The Office is such a good show. If you haven't watched it, you have until, what, January 2021? 
and it's you, off of Netflix? I think, no, January 2020. I think it's 2020 sometime. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So you have, what is it, a month and a half? Yeah, a little more than a month and a half? Not crank, enough time. Crank it out. That's no, how enough time. I mean, not enough time. if you want to fail your classes and watch 16 hours a day of The Office, I think, what, one episode's 20 minutes. You could watch three episodes an Some hour. Some are 40. Aren't they? Three episodes an hour for no, 16 no, hours. They, I don't think that was a special. That's like the seasons. last episode was I like... There was like a one season and there was like a bunch of 40 or something. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the Niagara Falls No, there was one. a couple... Yeah, there was a couple that were that conjoined two, episodes. There's a lot of two-part episodes. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Which are technically like four episodes because they have the part one that's 40 minutes yep. and they have the part two mm-hmm. that's 40 minutes yep. and each episode is like 20. Yeah, so. By the way, Niagara Falls is hilarious. <laughs> Rest in peace, just, Andy. There's, there's so much. Good <laughs> rest in peace, Andy. Spoiler alert. Rest in peace, we Andy. We don't spoil on the show. We don't spoil <laughs> that's, on the show. That, that hurts. So that's such a good show. Um, I kind of wanted to get into updates uh, f- just from like the school standpoint. Uh, upcoming uh, sporting events. I know fall sports uh, just wrapped up last weekend. Rest in peace. <laughs> Another rest <laughs> in peace. I know actually cross country has their regional race on Next week, Saturday the 16th. Yeah, that's yeah, Potsdam. Yeah, so that uh, big, big good luck to all of those runners that are competing. Not Josh because he's Josh. not a student athlete anymore. Uh, he's never a runner, period. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Chris. But race I know. Me right now. Whoa. I've always said I'm not a runner. Whoa. I've said this is day one. Okay, Garrett backed out of a race one time. That is true. That is true. And we're proud about have, it. Uh, <laughs> we're yeah. proud about it. Yeah, like I don't have to. I don't have to prove anything. No. It was, it was your just, teammates. It was, just, it was just gonna be some fun. Your hey. teammates said that I was gonna win. There was no chance. I I know there wasn't, but your teammates <laughs> had the lack of confidence in you. I know. So what's that show on you? Because I couldn't run this summer. Hey, you're right. Stomach ulcers. Yep, those are fun. <laughs> So, oh uh, basketball plays against Boston University tomorrow. They, are, they do? Yeah, yep. Boston University. Like, bo- like, like VBU. I got a couple mm-hmm. friends going out to that game. You can actually uh, – I wish this was, like, live because I was going to say, oh, you can watch it, but, like, uh-huh. it's, like, pre-recorded. So, oh. uh, so hopefully, like, best of luck to them. And I know looking forward on the 19th of November, that's a Tuesday, that's the first girls basketball home game, and then the guys have their first home game on the 21st, which is a Thursday. Both of those are at 7 p.m. So if you're not busy, I know Pop Chris out. isn't busy. Pop out. He's going to be right there. We're going to the front make row. the student section crazy. Uh-huh. Got to bring your best blue and white. Come on. Yep. Got to go crazy. <laughs> we got to make these zebras feel like it's an away game for them, too. Come on. Zebras? Uh, referees. Catch on. Ah, I thought you were go. referring to the other team. There it is. Hold on. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Caught it. All right. I thought you were talking about the other team. Uh, so now moving into like a student government standpoint, uh, the past three weeks, we haven't had a lot of business going on. I know from my desk as treasurer, like I updated the financial policy. Supply and demand. Uh, yeah, supply and demand. <laughs> That's my job. Supply and demand. Uh, yeah, the supply for events is high and, uh, the demand is also high. So we're going to have a, uh, a curve and that's going to be a, a bell curve. Yeah. Bell we like curve. bell curves. We like normal distributions. Yes, mm-hmm. we do. So I know there's actually I know I know that what you mean the bell curve? No, yeah, he it's took like stats. This. Oh, you took stats. Normal distribution, baby. I know standard oh. deviation. Boom. Okay. 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 Yeah. Usually you have no idea what we're talking about. I had it's statistics. I took it with thistle goat. Oh, the, yeah. the tangent oh. line slayer. Yeah. So you know I learned a lot in that class. The Bob Ross of SUNY Poly. <laughs> oh, that's a big fact. Uh, I know that actually uh, there was something on. Res Life's Instagram page yesterday oh, or something yeah. like that. And I, I read that. I get a lot that. of heat because uh, they posted something about having more lights at Hilltop Hall and that some students were concerned about other lights on campus that yeah, weren't fixed. Yeah, because ones by the uh, library have been out for a while. So, like, they put up temporary lights, and I know it's a – from my understanding, what Mike told me from Matt Putnam, who's, like, the director of facilities mm-hmm. and oversees all those things, these lights are – 35 years old and the lifespan is actually only 25 years oh. so these are all due hmm. but like the problem was that we didn't put the money in to replace them back when they were you know Dying. expected to yeah so like they were still working 10 years ago and they were like oh we don't need to replace them and so now they're all like they're popping out or whatever is. yeah so now we're trying Maybe to get the older. money because no. at this point like everything is connected to one circuit so like they need it's actually oh, a capital. That's not good. <laughs> it's a, so it's a capital investment. They need to actually change like everything, mm-hmm. and they said it could cost like two hundred fifty thousand. Well, they've done some of them, like well, between um between like the camp mm-hmm. center and the field house. They, like they're, they did they're bunch. like they're trying to figure out like they're trying to pinpoint each like singular light. And Mike also said that uh, once a week the facilities guys go around to see which lights are still out 
because like they still have to check on like if they're working properly, like how the circuits Dominic are doing. And stuff. Remember, remember when we like walked from the field out to the student center? We just walk right next to one, and all of a sudden, as we got next to it, it turned off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like it's you know it flickers and stuff. But uh, one thing I wanted to say is if you guys have any concerns about anything like about campus life, about safety or anything like that, definitely direct those questions or concerns to student government. We have meetings, uh, 1230s on Thursdays, and I think it's definitely something that you could bring up. We have an open forum section where you can discuss these concerns, questions, anything like that. So definitely come out, share your concerns. We can point you in the right direction yep, and yep. we can help. So definitely think that's that's one way to go about it. Uh, another thing is, uh, last Friday our classes were canceled because we got Didn't hit. Have class. We well, for some of us that do have class, and no, also it was just, it was just received the thing got canceled, so I was upset. I, I didn't have class either, but you know, it still feels nice getting that well, yeah, email. Yeah, yeah, I also nice. well, my so my class got canceled at ten forty, and I was like, oh. Yeah, because we were I at breakfast why. Right after practice. Yeah, I, I was like, I wonder why, because like the campus was fine. Like I didn't yeah. see any flooding on campus, but then I see the pictures of Genesee Street, it was bad. and it like it was like you said, it was flooded it was from flooded. like flooded. Where was the flooding? It was it was flooded. So if you go on Genesee Street, it was flooded all the way from that that uh, stoplight by Moe's mm -hmm. all the way to Wendy's. That oh entire spot was just a, like I'm exaggerating here, but like a whole twelve foot diving pool oh, that you can just <laughs> swim in. I think I saw there were like some aerial pictures like that, like WKT Whoa. <laughs> WKTV like took pictures or something like that. And they had yeah. like a video going around and I was like, wow, that's actually a lot <clears throat> worse than I thought. Yeah, I'm just out here just trying to get some lunch, man, on a Friday, <laughs> Friday afternoon, just coming from the library and I can't go get my spicy nugs. On a blaze. You know, on a blaze. yeah, the arterial was fine, yeah. but also like the water, like next, like that pond or whatever that like is, was, swampy area. it was really high. Eventually they closed off the exit for Genesee street on the arterial. Really? Oh, yeah. Later that day. And then even on the 49 too, they closed it off. Damn. So it's like no one was getting on. Well, I think it, so I know we're like kind of elevated from, I guess Genesee street's the point of lowest elevation. Well, all the, water the river's pulling. right there. Well, that too, True. like if all the water's going right there, then. I mean, when you're going over that hill, whatever, like, where is that, that, that motel or whatever, when you're getting off the exit uh, of, of, I think it's 49? Yeah. Um, you're you're basically looking down on Genesee Street. Like, that's just, uh -huh. it's at least probably yeah. 50 feet of elevation change. Was there any water on the other side of the bridge? No. Like, towards, like, uh, Towards, fast like, track? fast track? No, nothing was there. It was all on the right side or the whatever side that is towards yeah. the train station mm -hmm. over there. All of it was over there. I feel bad for the people that couldn't get to the train station. Mm -hmm. If they like, if they, if their only route was Genesee Street, I feel like there's definitely more. There's definitely another way around. Yeah, because they can go like the it other might way. Might take you a while. But <laughs> it's yeah, it a, it's going to take a while. Instead of going from Poly to the train station, you had to go from Poly all the way out to like New Hartford and then backtrack towards. That would be rough. And then I know around that area too, by the train station on like the other side of Genesee Street, mm -hmm. they're doing a bunch of construction onto the streets there. So it was like at one point they closed down just one lane too, oh. and only one lane was open. And then they even closed down the ramp to get on back on to Genesee Street too. So it was mm -hmm. like it was a madhouse that Friday. Yeah, I I hope everyone <clears throat> you know no one got hurt. I hope everyone that lives in the area didn't have any like housing damage and stuff. So. Stay safe. Yeah, definitely. Got to stay safe out here. Now it's snowing, so. We don't like that. It's insane. We don't like that. I want to talk about climate change. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Where's my 70-degree uh, weather? So South. my boy, big shout-out to Kyle Shear. I hope he's listening. He says oh, he listens. Oh, So he Peach. was Fortnite Snapchatting squad. me. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite squad. Big shout-out to Kyle Shear. He, uh, he sent me a Snapchat. He was like, so I heard there was snow in Upstate today, and I was like, yeah, it was raining last week and now it's snowing, so we're just getting hit with everything. And he was like, "Yeah, it was 63 and sunny today in <laughs> Virginia Beach." And I was like, oh, "Must be nice." <laughs> That's only like six hours away. Oh mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Well, from New York City, it's like six hours away. Oh, but from, I think it's uh, eight. I think his drive is eight. Oof. Mm -hmm. so uh, it's like it's like nine and a half from here. <laughs> I, I got a I have a friend, a really close friend. She lives in um, Roswell, Georgia. She moved oh. from New York City, from Queens mm -hmm. to Roswell. Started a whole life there, has a baby, and, like, during the winter, their winter, like, right now, it'll mm -hmm. be, like, 63 in the morning. We like that. 55 at, at worst. It's perfect. And then they they got, like, their first snow in Roswell and, like, Georgia in a long time. It was last winter. And I was That's like, crazy. I just had a blizzard on Tuesday, and now on Thursday, I'm getting another six inches. So, 
stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, I don't want to see you saying, it's cold in the morning, okay? <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> it, it stays cold. It was like okay. negative 30 for a week last year. I'm yeah. knee deep in snow right now, just trying to walk, <laughs> okay? Yeah, freshman year, we got hit with all oh, the feet. three feet of snow in like that blizzard. a day. That was crazy. Classes were canceled for a three day days? and a half. It that, was... It was Two or three days, I'm pretty sure. Well, mm -hmm. we got class, so we got the email when we were playing basketball, right? Mm -hmm. That whatever night it was, yeah, and it was, it was like, like classes the next day are canceled. And we were like, oh, then they kept, okay. they just kept going. And then they were like, okay, classes at noon the next day are gonna be canceled. Yep. We got that email at like ten in the morning. Yeah, that day it was like, yeah, classes tomorrow until noon are canceled. And I was like. Kind of early, but, you yeah. know, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Keep it coming. The anniversary for that Thanksgiving snowstorm, too, is coming up from freshman year that we had. We had uh, Thanksgiving snow? Yeah, we did. Freshman year? Freshman year. I that remember because I had my dad come up because I couldn't get on any Amtrak train at all. Oh. And my dad had to come all the way up in his little Honda Accord. <laughs> And it's for, uh, the VTEC, baby. Two, two wheel drive. <laughs> he had to pump in the VTEC, come oh, get me. God. And then immediately just turned back around and went home. Yeah. That was, that was a rough, that was rough. Yeah. I can only imagine because just, I mean, driving however many hours to get out of the city and then another four just to get to Utica or three or whatever yeah. it is. It was, it was a rough time that time. <laughs> so now it's, uh, how long does it usually take for you to get out of the city? <sighs> so if I leave too long. <laughs> not as long as you think honestly so like if i leave at eight in the morning um that's if i get up <laughs> <clears throat> it's a big if yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if i force myself to get up at 8 a.m i will be on campus by one o'clock that's with okay possibly one stop you know go to the bathroom mm -hmm. get some food big dogs gotta eat <laughs> and i'm josh. here <laughs> not josh hey not josh hey i'm here at one what but um if i leave let's say if I leave, like, Utica at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I will not get back home till probably 6 or 7. Because of the traffic. Because of the, like, the rush hour traffic on the way yeah. back home. So I got all the people going, like, into New York City, too, from, like, the north going right. back into New York mm -hmm. City. And then I got to find parking because, you no know, driveways <laughs> um, and my street sucks. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. The non perks of living in the city. Yeah. Oh, we talked about this two weeks ago. What what constitutes upstate? <coughs> oh. Do you want to do you want to elaborate on this? At from living in the city. Yeah. yeah you yeah. have some perspective. Jake oh, yeah. and I are upstaters. Yeah. He calls himself Western New York, but I was like, you know, yeah, Rochester. A lot of people. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just say it to you straight. Uh -huh. This is this 2016 Christian here. Okay. First comes to Nepali. Yeah. If you're not from New York City, mm -hmm. you're an upstate New Yorker. Straight up. Straight up? Straight up. Okay. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're from Buffalo. I don't care if you're from Northern Canada. Uh -huh. I don't care if you're from Westchester. Okay. Albany. I don't care. Upstate New York. That's it. As just, soon as you leave the city. As soon as you leave so the what city. So what is the, the Tappan Zee Tap Bridge? Tappan Bridge, yeah. Gets from, is that Orange County? Or is that I, West? I would say, well, actually it connects Terrytown, if you want to get specific, yeah. Terrytown, Terrytown to some other town i don't know what it is, is but Terrytown in the new york city part i would say Terrytown is not new york city it's really not but it's more of that up northern bronx area but oh but not. that's on the new york city side yeah like i'm saying like on yeah, the yeah. one side of the bridge you got okay yeah so it's on the new york city side okay yeah and then what's on the other side of that uh the other side is more of that western side of new york so because hudson city. river goes up north okay. so tappan z bridge crosses from east to west yeah. So on the east side is Terrytown, mm -hmm. and on the west side is whatever town that is. Honestly, oh you don't know? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What yeah, it I is. was just I didn't know, so I uh -huh. was just curious. So yeah, so if you're not from the five boroughs, <laughs> possibly that Westchester Yonkers area, Orange County. Uh, yeah. I I didn't hear of Orange County. A too. lot of people will say it. There's the city, there's Westchester, and then there's upstate. Yeah, so like I I would. If I know you, because the people from Westchester yeah. don't want to associate with the the upstate. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Which if I'm I know here to tell you, you from some West of us Chester. aren't that bad. <laughs> I can. There are some. There are some that you know are out there. Oh yeah. But yeah, but then there's some of us. But now, now I understand my geography. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> we got the five boroughs. Yeah. We got the Westchester. We got the Poughkeepsie area. We got the Hudson Valley. We got oh. the Mohawk Valley. Mm -hmm. We got. Northern, still Canada. <laughs> Trent. Northern New York. Yes, Trent. Um, then we got Central. 
You know, that's where we're at right now. Mm-hmm. And then we got the western part of what New York. So we be? you guys uh, are considered the, upstate. Well, yeah, but like in terms of like a subdivision of upstate. Well, I've heard on the tier. weather channel. I've heard southern tier. Yeah. yeah, oh, that is the southern, the tier, southern yeah. tier. So like that's, I've heard because right. I, I have a friend. Yeah, he Dom says went to Lawrence. Yeah, you went, yeah, Dom, Dom mm-hmm. went. We went. Yeah, uh-huh. we were all right next to each other. I've heard oh, Binghamton. Yeah. It's like if you say upstate from Binghamton, just stop. I would consider because it's like upstate. to me, I it's consider like, it upstate. It's not like, but it's not like Binghamton's Potsdam upstate, like, but what? Well, so Binghamton's like a half away, half, half away, away, half an hour away from uh, PA. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. So that's hop skipping away southern tier. Like I just said. Yeah, that that's why I would consider southern it the southern tier. tier. You're right, yeah, so yeah. now it's like, all right, whatever. Are you guys ready Sus- for finals? Susquehanna Valley. No. No? No. Josh has one. I, have one. I don't <coughs> want to talk to you. Well, I but know. I have four design projects. Wah, wah, wah. I spent seven hours on one already just to find out it wasn't going to work. Talk to me go. when you do it every day. What? Talk to me when you do it every day. I I mean, don't doing you work on the weekends? I don't. You play I too like much to- FIFA. I haven't played FIFA. I've played FIFA one day in the last week. No, that's not what my snap records say. Didn't you just what? get De Gea? Yeah, like yesterday. Oh, okay. you got oh, Vardy played, today, played too. And Vardy I forgot, today. Okay, I, played, I forgot I played yesterday. Caught in a lie. Mm-hmm. I, played, I, I didn't play a game. Lock up. I didn't play a game yesterday. That's why I was, forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you got Jamie Vardy. Yeah, I got the I team, team of the month. Team's better. Team of the month, Jamie Vardy. Yeah, probably, because he probably plays more. <laughs> he does. I think he. Uh, oh yeah, because he, he, went, he did the, the foot he, champs, yeah. and I don't even have two thousand points he, in that yet. He grinds on FIFA. I, I respect the grind. I grinded. The, I grinded to me. get that Halloween scream Ozil card. Mm-hmm. That was a grind. Yeah. But how many? How many finals you got, Chris? I got three. I got two on Monday, back to back, and then I got one on Tuesday. But I'm be Audi on Tuesday. That a boy. Getting ready for I that have vacation. an online final on Monday, and then I have my auditing final on Tuesday. Talk about the other guys. I'm going to audit my parents at age 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wednesday, I have my final persuasive speech. There it is. I'm going to talk, about, talk about flex tape. Flex tape. <laughs> yeah, uh, slap it on. Thursday. The Zeus. Oh, Thursday, I have my business ethics case analysis due. So I'm probably going to finish up that case analysis um, the week before. What, what class was that again? Business ethics. Mm, I don't think that's right. Oh, God. The ethics of supply and demand. There we go. Yeah. Oh, for the record, my engineering friends uh, <laughs> think so highly of me, and they think all of my classes are uh, supply and demand related, even though it's not the case. Uh, but yeah, for we're going to get through it, though. I don't, I don't think that way all the time. I give get it credit. Oh, no, no. We, we, just, like, we just like to yeah, I know, mess bust, with them a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys want to talk about, uh, how Josh is up 12 points on, uh, Chris? On, not for long. Not for long. Not for long. Not for long. I know not I'm beating Mike by a little bit. You know, it, nobody's outscored me so far. It's, it's a tough only been two t- weeks, but. Are you 2-0? Two and oh, two, I'm 2-0. Two oh, we're, we're, the, we're both the last two, two undefeated teams so far. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the presence of excellence right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they started already. Oh. Uh-oh. Did they oh. really? 7.38 oh, to 7.21. Oh, God. Drum, that's bad. That's is bad Blake news. Griffin back yet? It is. Uh, we hope not. Nope, I hope not, because that means more boards for Drummond. Blake Griffin uh, will not play Friday against that's, the Pacers. See, it's, it's they good. said he's day to day. Oh boy, starting today. Oh. So that means today could be like one of his last <coughs> "I'm out" games. Yeah, true. So that means like next week. I hope it's look out. That's good for my fantasy. Look out for next week. Well, it's tough for me for this for this days particularly because. This will either make or break the week for me against Josh. What, what does Saturday yeah. and Sunday look like? Well, ooh, ooh, big question right now. Yeah. Oh, so yep. I got. Oh, I can't switch it, out those guys. Yep, Should I? Oh, I don't. Actually, this isn't even a question at all. Uh, I had D'Angelo Russell uh, benched because my guards right now are Brogdon, Beal, Lillard, and uh, Mitchell at uh, like as a utility. Yeah. And then I also have like Bam and Jokic at like the center. Yeah. And like both of them are gonna. Go off. Go off, yeah. So I was debating on putting Russell in, but he's out. But he's then out. they just listed him like he's going to start today. Okay. And I was like, I'm not going to swap you for... It's Wait, either... I... Oh, if mm. I... I wish I could have switched... Uh... Like if Bam oh. or Jokic were a power forward, I yeah, you could have switched for Blake. Blake. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, the utility as no, nah, but honestly, yeah, you got to keep in Lillard forward. and and Mitchell yeah. over Russell. Like who even knows? He, Russell yeah, might Bradley be on minutes Beal, restriction. Bradley Beal versus the Cavs. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean they're down. 
Well, I know they're losing. Twenty eight to like, forty right now in the second quarter with nine minutes left. And he's only got four fantasy points. Uh, so like, if he doesn't, that'll, that'll change. That'll if he change. doesn't turn up, that'll change. I didn't notice it until I just looked. <laughs> you and me are up like two hundred points for the next on everybody person. else. I know it's it crazy. was like you and Andy last week. It was what are you just, guys? What's your score? We're, at, we're in the seven hundreds. Everyone we're else, in, everyone yeah. else is I'm in the four or the fives. Uh, yeah, I'm up eighteen on Mike right now. I mean, when you have Legoat. You can't go wrong. We'll, go. we'll, we'll, we'll find out on, by Sunday. And then, yeah, I've really been oh, hit with the... Uh, I got him oh, playing on Sunday. I know. Don't sleep yeah, on but the I king. Got, I got like Harden and like Kyrie and Kawhi. Listen, I don't week. fear the beard. You know? Okay? <laughs> I don't fear the beard. What about fear the deer? I don't fear the deer either. The Bucks. The Bucks. Oh, oh Giannis. Okay? Giannis. They got locked down by the fun guy. All right? I don't want to hear guy. anything. All right? <laughs> Josh is going down this week. Okay. All right. I've really, I know you have okay. Curry, Chris. Yes, rest in peace. Yeah, he's gone out for forever. three, months. Oh, three but months. But I've really been hit with the the injury bug with Russell out and Malcolm, or not Malcolm, uh, Marvin Bagley. Marvin III, Bagley. Came out with that uh, fractured thumb yep. thing. He's out for like the next couple weeks, and then Blake is hasn't played yet. Yeah. So, the, it's, but it's I mean, last decisions. year, what happened last year? Started 0 3. What happened? <laughs> Finished 11 and 3. Literally cleaned the last that was, 11 weeks. That was crazy. I, went, that was I lost <laughs> in the championship. It was a tough time. Yeah, you. So, did you play Mike in the championship? Or? No, I played you. No, I didn't win last year. I thought Mike won. No, I thought you did win. Uh, no, One of you won last year because Mike stopped paying attention. I remember yeah. I and lost. Else, oh, we were the only three that were paying who attention. Who won? You? Uh, no, <laughs> Ali. Oh, was it Ali? No, he, no, it was definitely one because everyone else stopped paying How attention except at... for us three. I think you'd have to check the computer one. Yeah, and yeah, like I don't know. Check on the computer. Oh, but yeah. Um, to be determined. <laughs> TBD. It, I know it wasn't me. I, I, I won. For this I won our sophomore year. Big throwback to two weeks ago when I said the Clippers were going to win the NBA championship and then they lose to like the Sixers. I don't know who they lost to. It, no, they lost to. Uh, was it the first? They're working, set of no, they're working out the Kings. They lost to the Suns. Yeah. Devin Booker said. Team on my back. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Sixers? No, I was talking about uh because the Sixers lost to the Suns. Well, I know the Sixers lost. Yeah. I'm saying the Suns also beat the Clippers the like also... a couple weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's uh Yeah, wow. Devin Booker oh, said you finally the team people on my to back. Sit out. Devin Booker was to. chirping uh Patrick Beverly and he wasn't having it. D book, natural scorer. Yeah. He's a that's a big Kentucky. boy right there. Fried Kentucky chicken. bread. Yeah, honestly. Kentucky breaded. <clears throat> um yeah, I mean, wrapping that up, I don't want to talk about Drummond, my fantasy Drummond's team name because that's double, changed. So. Triple oh, double. Up, Yo, look, he's I'm already he's already halfway now. there. Please stop. He's already halfway there. He, it's not even he half doesn't time. have Hall of Fame dimer. It's not even. Man's doesn't even yet. have bronze dimer. <laughs> Please stop. Well, Please they stop. added the new badges in 2K, so you could literally have everything. True. Is this 2K? Uh, this is real life. This is exactly. real life. 2K is based on real life, so get the smoke. Do they have badges in real life? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where do they put them on their jerseys? Like the football helmets with the yeah, they're they're right here. They got the the sponsors. Those are their badges. I don't think so. <laughs> the badges are internal. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> internal. Where, where it counts. Uh, I think that uh that wraps things up. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming on today. Anytime. Dana. Had a lot of had a lot of productive conversation about Will Ferrell mainly. <laughs> yes. Uh, I definitely the thank office. all you guys for listening to the podcast. We'll be on. Not next week because I'm heading to Albany for the SU conference. SUNY, uh, I shouldn't say. It's Sagu. SUNY SA conference. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Get to, not, not the SUNY. <laughs> no, that, SUNY that's sports. Saw. That's sports. SUNY 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 So, yeah, definitely thank you guys so much for listening. And we will catch you in probably two weeks. Catch uh, you to on be determined the on the guest. But, yeah, definitely catch you on the flippity Garner. flip. Flip, flip. Peace out.